Hi again. So, continuing the conversation about self-love I started last week, yes, it's a week later. I wanted to bring to light the question of self-love in the context of how you use it as a support system. I'll get into some other areas about the shadow work later on, I mentioned it last time. But I also want to bring to light that sometimes we don't apply self-love to honor ourselves, to respect ourselves, and to lift ourselves up. The self-love I'm talking about, notice that, <laughs> love is stronger than fear, um, is that we really do have more capacity to love ourselves in the greatness of who we really are. So my offering you a homework assignment, yes, homework assignment right now. Three things today, after you, three days, three things if you want to do this every day where you think of how you did something well you succeeded even if you dodged a bullet that's a win as well but three victories three three wins three successes you can attribute to yourself and celebrate that in your own self-love so self-love not only about oh i love myself and i'm fine which is very as i said last time kind of a well i say call it placebo i call it more of a um, i don't remember what i called it last time it's a placebo it sounds good, but it's not doing anything. But when you use self-love in your life, you apply it to your own support systems. I've got a whole bunch of things I'm talking to talk about. I've already got a couple of the videos lined up. Um, if you want to find out more about the work I do, reach out to me, message me directly, and I'll plug you into something I'm launching very soon. I already committed to doing that last week, so it's coming even sooner. And practice these tips on how to love yourself more effectively. Okay? I'll see you again shortly. Take care.